Hey, what's up, guys? This is Sean. Today, we'll talk about the Ember with TypeScript. The TypeScript is one of the most popular programming language right now, especially writing front-end web applications, because it has everything that JavaScript can possibly have, and also provide a better type checking system to help a developer to write a cleaner and safer code. Without further ado, let's get started. First of all, we need to start our project by Ember init. Then we need to install the Ember CLI TypeScript to enable the TypeScript inside our application. This Ember add on will help us to import all the necessary types and also the blueprints. So when you use Ember generate command, it will generate the files in TypeScript. Here we do Ember S to get our app up and running. Now let's start with an example of the TypeScript Ember component. We do Ember G component dash GC welcome. The dash GC stands for the Glimmer component and the welcome is our component name. Here you can see we have an argument interface where it's allowing us to define the type of the passing arguments. Let's say I want a, an argument called name and the type is a string. And we go to the application template to put our component and pass the name argument. Here we back to our template and render some text. Since the name is the passing argument, so we put add name here. And it looks good. Now let's go back to our component and try to write some local properties in TypeScript. We have a property called hello. The type is a string and the default value is hello. Then we can have a getter, which will take both local property hello and the passing argument name. The return type of the, this getter is also a stream. So you can see when we type this dot args, it's going to auto populate the name property because we defined it before. And let's choose that one and put grading inside the template. It also looks good. Next, we can write some router and controller in TypeScript. Here, we are generate a new route called products. And we go to the router TypeScript files. We can remove the code after dot extent and use pure class syntax. Now we wanted to define our model to fetch some data from the API server and return the response. And don't forget to make it async function. Here we set up our API JSON file inside the public folder, which will return a list of products. Each product has ID, name, and price. To leverage the power of TypeScript, we need to define the type inside our router. So we add a product interface with ID, name, and price. The ID and name are string, and the price is number. Now we can explicitly define the return type of the model hook. We can change it from promise any to return a promise which includes a list of products. Here we can add a controller for this route. You can see here it's an auto-generated model with a parsing error. We can ignore this error since it's mandatory for looking up our controller. Here we also remove the things of the dot extent and use native class syntax. We can define our model here as well as the product array. But it looks like I cannot import it a type here because I didn't export it. So let's do it right now. Well, let's put those products into template and see if this works. So far so good, and let's try to add some getter here to increase some complexity. For example, the model is an array, so we can get a length of it. And we can also use reduce function to get the total price of all products. Here is the call by function and the initial value is zero. We will need to define the arguments, the total is number, and the product has a product type. 
since we define the type, we can see properties within the product, auto populated, and then here we're going to use price. Now we put those inside the template. And is working as expected. Next, let's write a service. Similar to controller, service also need to declare so TypeScript know how to look up your service. In this simple service, we define a variable called count and have two functions. One is to increase the count, another one is to decrease the count. And we can create a new route to use this service. Inside the controller, we inject the service. Since it's in TypeScript, we need to give it a type. So we import the counter service type and assign here. Then we see another error says the counter has no initializer. So we need to add a declare keyword in front of it. Then the error goes away. Here we add a counter inside a template and add two buttons to trigger those two actions. And that's add an increase and decrease actions inside a TypeScript to invoke the function from the service. Let's test it out. Everything looks good. So how do we use the service provided by Ember itself? For example, router service. Let's add a button here to manually go back to the home page. Here we add a back to home action and inject the router service. The router service type can be imported from the add type slash Ember routing, which already installed with the Ember dash CLI dash TypeScript. After we define the type, we can use this service and then we can pick the transition to functions definition and then know how to use it. The destination here is the home page, so we put slash here. Well, we're at a slash counting page. After I click back to home, we're at the home page. Next, helper. For function phase helper, we just need to define the type of the params, which is the array of arguments. So we set any array here, and we're gonna write a very simple helper, which just add a dollar sign in front of the number. And we can put that into our product page. You can see the dollar sign on the price. So what if we wanted to write a class-based helper? We can import a helper class. And our currency class will extend on that. And override the computer function. The rest will be the same with the function base helper. And let's try this out. And it works the same. That's pretty much about this video. Hit like button if you love it. Subscribe if you want more. Let me know anything on top of your mind in the comment section down below. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.